guys, today on Aided World, we're going into a new game called The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. Well, guys, this game looks awesome, so let's check this game out. And I'm going to be using a pro controller. Let's start a new quest log. So, guys, you can set whatever name you like in here, but I'm going to set mine as Link here. So now let's head in and guys um there is two modes so there is normal mode that you get heart drops and stuff but in hero mode you take double damage and won't be given recovery hearts at any point. This mode is only for the truest heroes. Well guys um that sounds cool but we're going to just go in as normal mode so let's start this game and let's check it out so this is but one of the legends which the people speak long ago there existed a kingdom where a golden power lay hidden It was prosperous land blessed with the green forest, tall mountains, and peace. But one day a man of great evil found the golden power and took it for himself. With its strength at his command, he spread darkness across the kingdom. But then when all hope had died and the hour of doom seemed at hand. A young boy clothed in green appeared as if from nowhere. Wielding the blade of evil's bane, he sealed the dark one away and gave the land light. This boy, who traveled through time to save the land, was known as the Hero of Time. The boy's tale passed down through generations until it became a legend. But then a day came when a fell wind began to blow, blow across the kingdom. The great evil that all had thought been forever sealed away by the hero once again crept forth from the depths of the earth eager to resume its dark designs. The people believed that the hero of time would come again to save them. But the hero did not appear. Face an onslaught of evil, the people could do nothing but appeal to the gods. In their last hour as doom drew high, they left their future in the hands of fate. What became of that kingdom? None remain who know. Wow, that was crazy guys. Well, let's see what's gonna happen here. The memory of the kingdom vanished, but the legend survived on the wind's breath. On a certain island, it became customary to guard boys in green when they became of age. Clothed in green of the fields, they aspired to find the heroic blaze and cast down evil. The elders wished only for the youth to know courage like the hero of legend. Wow, this place looks beautiful. Wow, Outset Island. It's beautiful. It's like mini paradise. 
Big brother! Huh. This is a beautiful island here. Big brother! I wonder who she, she is looking for. He even got a watchtower. Wow. Big brother! I knew you'd be here. He he, this is my favorite spot to gaze out at the sea. When I play with the gulls, I call it Irol's Lookout. So do you remember what day it is today? You're still half asleep, aren't you? Did he forget? Big brother, it's your birthday. Cool, it's Link's birthday. That's why Grandma has been waiting for you to come back to the house. She's been waiting for a while now. It's a good thing I came to find you. You should probably go home and see what Grandma wants, don't you think? Okay. Well, guys, this is the Island Lobster shirt. And also, if you want to get this shirt in Breath of the Wild, I'll leave a link in the description so that you can get it. Well, anyway... This is awesome that it is Link's birthday. So let's go to Link's house and go check out what Link's grandma wants. So let's head up here and see what this sign says. Watchtower Forest of Fairies. So it seems the Forest of Fairies is this way. That's cool. Okay, we'll check that out later. Let's speak to this man right over here. Hoi Link! What's that? That Today is your birthday? Well congrats buddy. Are you that old already? Wow, time just flies by doesn't it? You blink and poof, there goes a year. Why, I swear I just cut the grass in this field the other day, but look at how tall it's gotten already. Say, do you want to try cutting it Link? You'd be surprised at the things people drop in the grass it's fun it's like a treasure hunt except you're going to need some kind of grass cutting tool if you want the, to cut the grass it's just common that's just common sense buddy well guys we're gonna have to come back here in a second well first let's get this rupee right out there here and so ZR's crouch so let's just head right through. Okay, so let's head down here now. And let's speak to this kid right here. And see what he says. Hoi Link. Hey, is it true that if you just have a little courage and run as fast as you can, then can you jump out to that rock out there? Huh, is it? Is it? Tell me. Alright. Well, I'm just getting used to the controls right now. I'm not sure if I can make it. Let's just try. Cool. Okay, we made it to the first one. There we go. And the last rock. Guys, so we did it. We made it to the last one. Now, let's just hop right across. And there we go. So let's speak to that kid real quick one more time to see what he says. Wow, I hope I'll be able to jump like you someday, Link. Well, he sure will. Well, let's head down this way. Let's speak to this lady right here. Oh, Link, happy birthday. Hey, did your sister Iroh find you? She was supposed to tell you that your grandmother was is looking for you. Speaking of your sister, she saw me work the other day and she said she wanted to 
learn to carry jars on her head like me so she could help your grandma do chores. So if you see her, tell her that all she has to do is stand in front of a jar and press A to carry it. To put the jar down, she has to just she just has to press ZR. Can you tell her that for me? Okay. Well, that's no problem. Well, let's just head this way here. And I believe this is Link's grandma's house. Right here. So, let's see here. This is a very nice place, actually. It's really nice. So, it seems like there's some sort of soup cooking over there. And there's some pictures of Link and his sister. And also, if you guys want to want to look at stuff in first person view, just press the right joystick in. Pretty simple. And then you can look at some... And then you can look at stuff in, in the perspective that Link sees it. So, there's a picture of Link and his sister. And some flowers. And there's another one of Link's sister up on there on top of the fireplace so use hit B to get out of that mode if you want to so I believe this is Link's grandma right here I've been waiting for you Link Link try these on time certainly flies I can't believe you're already old enough to wear these clothes you got the hero's clothes. They look like they may might be a little warm for this weather. They still look cool. Don't look so disappointed, dear one. Just try them on. Today is the day to celebrate. It is the day that you become the same age as the young hero spoken of in all the legends. You only have to wear them for one day. So don't look down. Be proud, child. In the olden days, this was the day boys were finally considered to be men. They were taught the ways of the sword to prepare them for battle with their enemies. But we don't live in such an age any longer. Our ways are the ways of peace. Nowadays, I suppose Orca is the only one on this island who knows anything about sword play. Hanging the family shield on the wall as decoration is another tradition that has been carried down from those days. Does all this make sense to you? Is it that nice Link? They suit you perfectly. A perfect fit. Well tonight I'm going to invite the whole town over for your birthday party. So I'd better get start getting ready. Shouldn't I? Your grandma is going to make your favorite soup for you tonight. Mmm. I just know you're looking forward to it. So now go get your sister Iroh. Cool. Okay, so so we'll go get Link's sister in a second here. So um, so um, there's a few other pictures over here. That's cool. Well, let's just hop down here, and we'll head through this door toward the watchtower. This outfit looks cool. So. Let's walk this way. Holy Link, press ZL right there and use A to talk to me. Try it. That's correct, you're a smart one. You, my friend, have just targeted me. You see, when you press ZL, you can target certain objects. I, for one, use it quite often to talk to folks who are far away from me. Of course, even if they're isn't anything around to target you can press ZL to face forward you know it's quite handy indeed there is a myriad of other ways to use targeting as well quite ingenious little thing if I do say so myself of course that's not the only trick in my bag not remotely I could teach you a few more things if you just climb up that ladder and over there and drop by my room all right well Let's just head on this way. Let's speak to this guy right here. I just saw a wild up uh, wild pig. Ooh, see, look, that black one there. Don't you see him? This is perfect. My wife was just telling me how she really wanted a pet. You, you ready to grab it, Link? Now, 
you can't you can't just run up to onto it. Pigs are too alert to their surrounding. It's if you just log jog up and capture one. If you want to get close to one, you'll have to hold ZR to crouch and tell L to crawl slowly up behind it slowly. You can also distract it with bait, I guess. So let's crouch down here. So let's head up this way. Oh look, there's another one. So let's head up here and see what we can see. So I believe this is this guy's wife. Why did he, why did he bring that little piglet all the way up here just for me? Ooh, thank you, thank you so much. I've been thinking of getting a pet pig for a while now. The boys will be so happy when they get home. You sweet. Oh, Link. Okay, Link. Hold out your hand. This is your reward. Don't spend it all in one place. A red rupee. 20 rupees. What a pleasant surprise. Why? This little darling is so cute as a button. You know, it's so cute that I wouldn't mind ev having even more of them. Alright. Well, there's one more here and then we'll go get Iroh. Whoa, okay. Well, it got somehow between those bushes, so we can't get that one right now. But we'll just continue on and go get Iroh for right now. So we'll just go across here. And it seems like there's some sort of gauge right above the rupees that I believe tells you your... It tells you your um um air left. So um, let's just head up here to this uh, watchtower and let's go check it out here. And we'll go get Iro now. Ah, holy big brother! Did Grandma make that outfit for you? But why? Wow, you look like you'd be way too hot in those clothes. I guess they're pretty neat though. So anyway, Link, can you close your eyes and hold out your hand just for a second? I'm going to give you my most treasured belonging, but just for one day. Happy birthday. You got the telescope. This is your sister's most precious belonging. Treasure it dearly. Set it to Y, X, or R, and use it by pressing whatever button you set it to do. Do it now and see what you can see. Using the gamepad, you can also touch and slide items to set them. So, well, do you like it? I'm letting you borrow this special gift just because you are my big brother. Aren't you lucky? Ooh, why don't you try it right? And why don't you try it out right now? Try looking over at our house from here. All right. That's cool. So let me equip the telescope. So basically it seems like you just press the button you want to set it to and then it just sets it to that. So let's save real quick right here. So that we don't lose our progress. So let's um go speak to her. And so if you press R you can look through the telescope. Neat, huh? So it seems like um we could just use the telescope from here. So Big Brother, are you using L to zoom in? Cause you should be. Hey, what's that link? Are you looking at the red post box? Alright. Huh. Let's see. The postman looks kinda weird, doesn't he? Uh, Link, the sky. Look up in the sky. Whoa. What's that? The bird's holding something or somebody. Huh, and there's something firing at it. Pirates? I didn't know this game had pirates, but that's cool. And they're firing something at it. Huh. 
huh? Well, it's definitely not good. And what they're firing is boulders. And they hit it. Okay, well, they got it. And they dropped a girl. Wow. Into the woods. Link, this is so terrible. That girl fell into the forest. She needs help. But it's too dangerous for you to go in there without something you can use to defend yourself with. Okay, well, um, Link's grandma did say that there is one person on this island that knows anything about sword play. So, so I guess that means sword fighting. So we're gonna have to go find that guy. Here, so... We'll go find that guy here. Actually, first let's go speak to that that guy that wanted us to drop by his room. So let's head up here and go check his room out. So soon, my, 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 if you're already old enough to be wearing those clothes, then it's going to be very important for you to gather as much wisdom as you can from now on. If you're to make your way in the world, that is, Link. Now, I've been studying a wealth of topics since bef long before you were born. I'm what you call a brain of all trades. You're a smart little fellow yourself, aren't you? I've been thinking it's time for me to pass down, uh, pass some of my wisdom down, and maybe you're the one I should pass it down to. Everything that you see tacked to the walls here is something that I've researched thoroughly. And before you ask, yes, I do know my filing system is odd. Organizational issues aside, however, it's all extremely useful information. You would do well to read it all very carefully. Reading leads to knowing, you know. What was that? Such a racket. Can't you keep quiet? You knocked everything off my shelves. Honestly, the hooligan I'm referring to is my younger and much less intelligent brother who lives just downstairs. He hates studying all day, every day. The loot just exercises and practices with his weapons. Does he exercise his brain? No, the brain's a muscle too, I think. Anyway, the only thing he does is study the art of fighting. Right now, for instance, he's been studying fencing and whatnot. As if there, as if that's of any use to anyone. He simply doesn't know how to do anything besides exercise. I ask you, what's a brother to do? Well, wait, did he say, did he say that, um, his brother is, uh, studies the art of fighting? Well, I believe he said, yeah, I believe that's what he said. So that's who we need to find. So he's right downstairs, but before we go, let's read one of his papers here. Shuriken's One Point Lessons. Lesson 1, The Energy of Life. To be young is to know no limits to one's stamina. To become stronger, one must first know oneself. The heart in the upper left shows one's current life energy. Perhaps a fancier way to describe it would be to call it a life gauge. As one experiences trials and hardships in life, one will naturally gain more hearts. However, if one is injured and takes damage, those hearts will decrease. As such times, it may be possible to replenish one's health by using a potion or fairy. Okay, well we're gonna have to come back here. That's some pretty good knowledge that he has on those walls. So first let's find so first let's find that fighting brother of his right here. So let's see. Okay, I see now he is studying the art of fighting a lot. 
He got a lot of weapons. Let's speak to him. Let's speak to him. Oh, what's the matter, Link? You have an urgent look about you. Has something happened? Whatever it is, from the look of your face, I suspect it's no laughing matter. What say you, Link? Ah, you have come for some serious instruction in the way of the sword. Yes, sir. Well, seems like he gave us a little sword to practice with. Very good. Your first lesson shall be the horizontal slice. Face me and press B. Do not fear for my safety. I am ready for you. Good. Keep coming at me until you hear me say, very good. Alright. So let's keep going. Very good. The next is the vertical slice. Hold CL to target me, then press B. Alright. Keep swinging. He's really good at guarding himself. Very good. Next is thrust. Target with ZL to tilt L toward me and then press B. Come at me. Thrust with your sword. Alright, so target him. Very good. Keep thrusting. Next is the spin attack. Hold B briefly to build up your strength. Then, and then release it. Or rotate L once and press B. So let's try both. So let's do this. Very good. More. Keep it up. Next is harder. This is a parry attack. Target with ZL until you see A. Then quickly press A to perform a defensive strike. Alright. Very good. And again, target with ZL and watch closely for A. Alright, there we go. Very good. Now finally, the jump attack. Draw your sword, target, and press A. Come at me once more. Alright, that was a fine display. And yet, yeah, I sense a certain anxiousness in the sword you hold, an eagerness that goes far beyond the mere desire to be wielded in the, on the fields of battle. I do not know what has happened, but I have faith in you. Somehow, I doubt you will misuse that sword. You may have it, Link. I give it freely. Take the blade with you. You accepted the hero sword. Wield it with B. Use it wisely and carefully. You do not want to let down the kind of old man who entrusted it to you. Since the olden days, this this sword has been used to fend off evil. Its blade is infused with desi desire to become strong and rightness. Be strong, Link. Well, thanks to him, now we can go save that girl. So, now let's head outside. So, let's go head off over there. And the pirates seem to be coming. Actually, I, I think they're... I don't think they're moving, actually. Well, first let's see if there's anything in this big red postal box. Good morning. Welcome to the Island Postal Service. What do you have for delivery? So, it seems like there's nothing in there. But anyway, let's head over to to where the girl is well anyway well anyway guys let's continue on and and let's head up to the mountain to go check out to go save that girl 
So anyway, let's see. No entry. The forest paths are closed until suspension bridge repairs are complete. Okay. Well, we're going... Well, I need to go save that girl, so... Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to cut these trees. So... Wow. That's a powerful little sword. And unfortunately, I broke the sign. Oh, well. Well, I guess the bridge is open now. But let me chop, chop some grass here to go... To go uh, see if there's any rupees in it. So let me chop this. Okay, so it doesn't seem like there's any rupees in it. But let's see here. And let's check on those pirates. So it doesn't look like they're moving anywhere for right now. Because it seems like they're idle. They're just on the boat. So. Let's check this grass up here. And see if there's any rupees in it. Because we might need rupees. Because we might need rupees. In the future here. So. It seems like there's a few rupees. Hidden here in the flowers. And the grass. It's, it's really cool. It's, it's really like a treasure hunt. So we got 44 rupees for right now. So let's head across this suspension bridge. Fairy fountain site ahead. Increase your fortune. Cool. Okay. So let me cut this grass to see if there's any rupees. Which there are. That's cool. Okay. So let's head across here. And I see why there's still suspension bridge repairs going on. There's a huge gap right there. So let's have to jump over it. And we made it. So let me just chop this grass real quick to see if there's more rupees. Because so far up here on this mountain there has been a lot of rupees in the grass. So let me just cut those and now let's head inside. Wow. Oh, the girl's right there. Alright, well let's cut a little bit of the grass here real quick. And then we'll head on to our mission. So it doesn't seem like there's any rupees there, but let's keep our sword on just in case. Just in case if there's any enemies here. And there's one. Wow, okay. One more strike. And we got a rupee. Awesome. So... Let's see what this sign says right here. Fairy Fountain Site. This spot marks the remains of an ancient fairy fountain. The legendary hero was said to come here after battle so the fairies could ease its weariness. It is also said that whoever met with the great fairy who lived here was blessed with the great fortune. So, it came to be known as the Fountain of the Fortune Goddess. Wow, okay. Well, that girl is still hanging on that tree. Here. Which we gotta get there quick. Before that branch decides to snap. Alright, so let's head up now. Alright, well, uh oh, and there's enemies flying in. 
Alright, first we'll deal with one. And we got one down and one to go. Alright, well we got both. So, she, the girl decided to wake up now, and moving causes the branch to snap. Ouch. Wow, what's with the get up? Well, whatever. So, where am I? Oh, that's right. That giant bird came and... Miss, Miss Tetra. That's one of the pirate guys. Oh, oh, thank goodness, you're safe. When I saw that you get dropped on the summit, I thought I thought for sure you'd summit. So the bird dropped me on top of a mountain? Well, wasn't that nice of it. Well, don't just stand there, let's go. Time to repay our debt to that bird in full. But miss, what about this boy? Don't worry about him, come on. Well, we just fought a bunch of enemies off and I guess she doesn't mind. But that's okay. Hoy, big brother. Oh, huh, what, what is Iroh doing here? Oh, right, I caught the sign down. I guess the bridge is open now. She better watch out for that gap in the middle. And the bird's back. Uh oh. Heading right towards the bridge. Not good. And they got her. Brother! Uh oh. Link gonna try to go. Oh, stupid kid. Get a hold of yourself. She's gone. There's nothing you can do. Well, there is something he can do. There's a gigantic boat, so maybe he can maybe he can board it with the pirates. Maybe he can. What? You want to come with us on our ship? Well, that's a great idea. Do you understand what you're asking? We're pirates, you know, pirates. The terror of the seas. What do you get out of bringing some helpless kid along with us? I'll tell you what we get. A headache. I know how you must feel with your sister having been kidnapped and all, but that doesn't really have anything to do with us now, does it? And how do you figure that? Whoa, 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 there. Just who are you? Where do you get butting off on someone else's conversation? Please, all I mean to say is that if you big bad pirates hadn't come to this quiet little island, the poor girl wouldn't have been snatched away by the bird. And what do you mean by that? Just be quiet for a moment, and I'll tell you. Now is that now is my work in delivering letters I spend much of my time traveling amongst the many different islands as a result I hear many things haven't you heard word that young girls have been getting kidnapped lately from all the regions of the great sea no matter whether you're hurting it or not that seems to be the case long girls young girls with long ears like yours have been getting kidnapped never to be seen again and unless my eyes fail me, the young girl who was just kidnapped from this island also had long ears. Does she not? Much like you do, Miss Fearsome Pirate. My point is the bird mistook that poor girl for you and that's why it grabbed her. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was young Link here who saved you from the monsters in the forest, wasn't it? Is this true? Oh, and while I'm at it, I may as well tell you that the bird that kidnapped both of New Link's sister has made its foul nest to the north on the heights of Forsaken Fortress. 
the Forsaken Fortress. Isn't that the place where... So, what are you going to do? Under this, the circumstances, I don't think it would be unreasonable to give Link a little help. Now, wouldn't it? <clears throat> I don't need you to tell me that. Even if I were to consider it, lately I've heard nothing but evil rumors about this forsaken fortress. You can't possibly mean to go there with nothing but that cheap little sword. That's not brave, it's stupid. I mean, come on, even a simple little island like this has to have something you can use as a shield, you know, some, anything to protect yourself with. Anything? I'll tell you what, if you come back with something like that, we'll stow you away on our ship. Oh, and one more thing. Once we leave, you won't be coming back here for a while. So you better say goodbye to your family while you have the chance. I don't want you getting all weepy-eyed and homesick on me. Oh, well. Well, at least Link is going to be able to get on their ship. So, for right now, let's go find the shield. Let's head into this house. And let's head up this ladder to go check on this sh shield. Where did it go? Link. Is this what you're looking for? Take it with you. You got the hero shield. This is the legendary shield said to be used by the hero himself. Hold ZR to defend yourself while holding the sword. You can move around if you defend while targeting. I guess it's true. Iroh has really been kidnapped, hasn't she? What kind of monster could take such a sweet young child? Well, Link's grandma does not have to worry about that because that's our mission to go get Iroh back and all the other people who have been taken as well. Well, anyway, let's let's head on here, Link. Ah. Uh, that I heard Iroh's voice cry from far away. Is it, is it really true? Huh. Okay, well, we're going to need to be prepared, so we're going to need some more rupees here. So, step one, um, that lady gave us 20 rupees per pig that we got her. So, I guess this is a good way on getting money here. So let's speak to her and she might give us some more rupees for this. So speak. Why? Did you bring me another piglet? Oh, you were all, were you all worried that this little guy would have got lonely hanging out inside the fence all by himself? That is the sweetest thing I've ever heard. Thank you so much for bringing us yet another family member. Here's a little something for you. Another red rupee. That's 20 rupees. What a pleasant surprise. If you find any other little piggies, you know where to bring them. Say, Link, did something something happen to you? You don't look well. Well, let's just head down and get one more batch of rupees. So let's head on this way because I saw one more pig this way. Oh, we forgot to help this guy. Well, we'll help him in just a minute. So, right now we gotta sneak up and pounce on it. Nice. We got it. So let's head on through here. So let's head this way toward 
um, the lady's house so that we can get another 20 rupees and there's a and there's a yellow rupee over there so let's just toss this right in look at how much space there is in that pen I'll tell you what if you find any other lost peas you just go right ahead and bring them here okay ooh ooh look at this one you sure do know where to find the cutest pigs on the whole in the whole great sea hey oinker oh no now things will ev will be ever so much more lively in the pen it'll be like a, it'll be like a big pig jamboree in here thank you so much oh that's right i can't leave you without giving you a present happy birthday link we got another red rupee. Okay, that was awesome. I guess I better better think up some names for these little onky wonkies, huh? So, guys, we just made a few a few rupees here, and there's one more over by this plant over in these trees, which I'll just uh, chop these real quick and. Let's go find a few more before we before we go find a place that we can use these rupees because we might need a lot. So guys, let's head on this way and let's chop these and let's just cut this grass for this guy right here. Check out how many rupees are in this. So let's just cut, keep cutting it. That one right behind him. And we'll just use the normal chopping way. You just press B in, or, in order to do this. You can also do all those other cool moves. So let's just keep going here. And we might find some more rupees in this grass because right now we got 109 so we could probably buy a decent amount of stuff here with all this stuff one okay there we go so we cut his lawn and the rupee right down here so let me just put that away and we'll head and let's head right underneath here And we got 110 rupees. So now let's head on back to the other end of the shore here. And we'll keep and then we'll find out where we can spend these rupees. So first let's head over to the guys um library here and we'll read one more of those things in there to get some more knowledge right before we leave so let's read the second one surgeons one point lessons lesson two do not underestimate the sea it's easy to get swept up by a little success at swimming but the sea can be a fickle swimming for too long will drain one's energy and eventually one will sink watch the round icon in the bottom right while in the water this is one swim timer one should f be sure to get back to shore before one swim timer runs out if one doesn't I can't be responsible for what happens next okay well let's just head upstairs and <laughs> and oops I didn't know that was gonna happen but we'll have to pay him to fix that. So let's check out this shop right here. This cool boat kind of looks like a shop. Actually, right before we go, let's check. Let's see if this, if the guy over here that wanted those pigs, um, had to say anything here. Link your sister Iroh, she's don't tell me. You're not going to board that ship and go save her, are you? So I guess he doesn't want 
me to go on this on that pirate ship I guess because maybe he knows something out there that might be di dangerous but we do have this blade which could pr which will protect us so right now we got 111 rupees here which should deal us with enough with enough for enough time and enough stuff so let's see this is some sort of shop oh a customer welcome to Beagle's shop ship ideal in pretty much anything and everything do you have anything you don't need if you do show it to me I'll pay top rubies for your junk or do you see anything you'd like to buy oh just use L to browse so the bake bag this holds bait it's quite useful and it's my very last one you can't buy bait if you don't have a bait bag like this let's buy one so the bait bag is 20 rupees let's buy it you got the bait bag now you can keep plenty of bait in this convenient stack it has eight pouches for storing bait press Y X or R to see what's inside you're the greatest I'll never forget you I'm going to make a members card just for you when you buy lots of things it builds up your points something good will happen to you something very good indeed my shop is kind to its customers no other shop will do this sort of thing for you I'll have you know now you have one point saved up you should try to save up 30 points so you can earn a silver membership oh just use L to browse so let's buy this bait all purpose bait good things happen to those who feed this stuff to animals do you have a bait bag oh fine customer of mine well let's buy some it's 30 rupees you got all purpose bait animals will be drawn to this gourmet pet food the moment you put it down it has three portions choose your bait bag and on the item screen and set this bait to Y, X, or R to use it. Thank you. Th yes, thanks to you. Now you have two points saved up. You should try to save up 30 points so you can earn a silver membership. So, let's buy one of these things. Hyroi Pear. 10 rupees. You got a Hyroi Pear. This special bait allows you to take control of seagulls. Choose your bait bag on the item screen and set it to Y, X, or R to use it. Cool. When controlling seagull, tap A to flap your wings and accelerate. Press ZR to quit. Okay, so I think we're going to buy one more of these and two more of those Hyroid pairs. So... That's cool that you can that you can control seagulls with that with that thing. That's cool. So let's buy one more of these. All right. So now let's head out of this shop. So right now we only have one rupee remaining, but that was a cool shop. That's a cool boat. So guys let's see how we can use this so let's check the bait bag so let's press X to check out what we got here wow okay so we got a three pairs and two stacks of these baits so let's set a pair right here just in case actually let's unequip that okay so guys well, that is about it for today's video. Well, you guys can check out more of the series videos in the description, which I'll leave the playlist there so that you can check out all the rest of the game's videos. So, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell button so you'll never miss out on another video on Aiden's World. Which, guys, there is going to be a lot more videos of this game, so you can check them out in the description. Well, let's save real quick right before we end this. And now, guys, we will see you next time.